Hey everybody, I've been holding on to this takeout container for far too long. So I'm going to cut it down today and show you how to make a stamp. All right, I cut just a small piece out of the top here. And last video I made uh, about this topic, I used a brayer and some printmaking ink. But for this one, I think I want to make this stamp small enough that I can use my stamp pads for stamping, um, just because I don't always like to get the printmaking ink out. And so I'm going to try and make a smaller stamp or maybe a few smaller stamps to use with my stamp pads. So I'm just going to cut some different sizes and see where that takes me. All right, so I have my shapes cut out. I was thinking maybe I could just do some organic shapes here and then I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So I'm just going to kind of freehand some designs. I'm using a pencil. You could use a ballpoint pen, which I think I used in my other styrofoam printing video, um, but I'm going to just use this pencil because this is what I have right now. So I'll just start. I'm not going to think it, about it too much, which is usually my approach here. So I'm just going to go for it. looking for something flat that I can use to help me press it. All right, so I record these on my phone and well, I ran out of space on my phone, so it stopped recording. But here is the test print, which I kind of like. It's, as you can see, it's kind of fuzzy, but that's okay. And oftentimes I think that's just what happens on the first print anyways, just because of this material. It's not really a stamping material, so it's not gonna be perfect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another another design on another one of these and see what it turns out like. And I'm going to get, I'm just going to use some white paper for my test. So I'm going to go ahead and work on another one. Maybe I'll just make this one polka dotted. Go ahead and test this. I'm using stays on solvent ink, which I believe is permanent. Um, and then I moved on to the Versafine Claire ink pads, which I have more of. Uh, I kind of like these better, but the black stays on works fine too. All right, so let me zoom out a little bit. And then I got this. It's just a lid. I'm going to use it to help me make sure I'm pressing all of the areas here. Although you don't really need 
that. You can just use your fingers. Ooh, I really like that one actually. Ooh, I really like that. Okay, so that's fun. I'm gonna try this one again. It's a little better than, than this print here, but I definitely like this one better. So I'm going to do another one like this, kind of like this repeating, more of like a texture instead of a design, and we'll see what it looks like. Maybe this one I'll do longer lines. Let's see. I'm going to stamp this one right here. Kind of want to do a different color, but yeah, I'll do a different color just so you can see the VersaFine Clear. I'm really no expert in stamp pads, uh, but I think I did a Instagram story thing where I, where I asked people's recommendations for stamp, permanent stamp pads or permanent ink stamp pads. Okay, this is kind of reminding me of some sort of meditative something or another. I think there's, uh, what are those called? The rocks that you balance. It's kind of reminding me of that. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one and then one more for the top here. There you have it. A fun recycled, upcycled styrofoam uh, printmaking project. Super fun. If you try this out, I would love to see if you share it on your Instagram. You can tag me at Feinberg Art Studio. If you want to see more videos like this, paper, book binding, and other artsy things, go ahead and click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out.